Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 13 of our Colonizing the World of Kerbal. We are back. We are exactly where we left off, where we have this uh, Alpha-1 here on its way to the Mun, with its pr uh, maneuver already in position. And with that being said, we are now going to revert back to the Space Center, and we're going to launch the next one. Why that one's going. We are not messing around. We are going to make sure we get this, get these satellites up and going. So let's uh, let's get it, let's get it in place. That's what I'm saying. We get these satellites going. We get the uh, the geosync or not geosynchronous, but we at least get the orbits right, and then we should be able to bring the lander in with no problem. Just got to try and get as much coverage of the MUN as possible. Okay. And the rocket's good, so we're just going to go launch it. No fiddling around with it. The last one worked. This one's going to work too. That's all there is to it, right? Entire tank said space and look at that. There it is. The lift off is good. Now this is the launch of Mun Geo Alpha 3. Even though they're not geos, but still. By the time this is done, we should have four satellites circling the Mun. That's the goal. We should have three going on the horizontal, and we should have one going on the polar, and we may put a fifth on the polar depending on how the uh, orbits look so we're gonna have to speed up uh, a few days and and see how the um, how the uh, the coverage looks because remember we want to try and keep a satellite on the light side as much as possible because we're going to be sending the mun lander afterwards and hopefully uh, by in the next couple episodes I'll be able to showcase my design um, mind you I haven't tested the, the the design yet because I ran into this issue here um, which is not enough uh, satellite coverage on the MUN. I tried to test out my MUN launcher uh, during some brainstorm whoa 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 way too much so far tried to test out my MUN launcher or my MUN lander um, in a brainstorming session I was streaming it and uh, come to find out that uh, I did not have sufficient coverage uh, around the MUN um, as I thought I did so that uh, that kind of put a bit of a hindrance, hindrance in my plan so now I need to rectify that by adding these additional satellites to orbit the MUN so that I can go ahead and achieve this so what will most likely happen is is the next couple episodes we'll get these uh, Mun Geo Alpha satellites uh, in place and then we'll uh, we'll do another brainstorm session on Twitch and we'll hopefully be able to test my lander and see if it actually works um, it's a bit of a jerry, 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 jarra, jerry rig, um, but, you know, it's, it's much as everything I make in this game is really just to throw together a part, so let's see how it works. Um, I did do a test of the, uh, my rover. My rover worked good. I was very happy with my rover. But, uh, we just gotta get the rover onto the MUN. And just so you know, um, we were going to do the space station 
um, before we went to the MUN, but I tried offline to dock to my my International Space Station, and I cannot do it. Um, it is a very difficult thing to do. Um, I don't want to use MechJeb. I want to try and stay away from MechJeb as much as possible when playing this game. So, um, I think if I did an International Space Station, I would need to use MechJeb for the docking. But, uh, I say let's just hold off on the International Space Station and we're going to go put a, a rover on the MUN and I'm going to manually land this thing on the MUN because I'm that confident in my skills that I am that much better than MechJeb. That's right. MechJeb's got nothing on me. That's true. Ignore the, um, the earlier... Uh, Geosat projects and stuff uh, that in the previous episodes uh, that that was just you know that was trial and error playing around and testing you know you know working out some bugs you know let's figure out which uh, Kerbal engineers you know that we had uh, were up to snuff or not right can't just let any old person come in and build our build our rockets right so I had to weed out the uh, the the week uh, weekends that's what the the first uh, five or six episodes were about. <laughs> But I think we've uh, we've worked out all the kinks, and uh, we've been uh, very successful with our launches uh, as of late. So I feel that uh, we've definitely overcome some boundaries. Okay, looks like we got ourselves a nice, decent angle here. We're keeping it good on this... Okay, we're finally getting the heat, but that's okay because we already got an Apple Apps up over 70. I didn't push it as far this time because I want to make sure that I get a good orbit. I'm more concerned about the, about the angle of the orbit. I don't want my, my orbit to, to be off again like that one was. There we go. We're okay here. We're okay. See, you gotta be gotta be careful because with all this tilting that you see going on here this could be enough cut the engine there okay that's a very good separation why is that still oh, I was going to say why is that still burning okay that maneuver let's see do we have enough are we at a good angle that we could burn out to it. No. No. No, we're going to have to bring it in. Yeah, bring her in. Okay, we're at 155. Oh yeah, I definitely gotta bring that in a bit. 208. 160. Ooh. There it is. One sixty eight, one fifteen, one twenty one, one seventy. That should be fine. Okay. Bring that up. Get onto that maneuver. 
We got time. Okay. Deploy that. And remove the fine controls. Perfect. And, oops. There it is. Activate. And activate. And activate. Then we gotta come down here. Good. And we want controls, antennas. One, two, three, four, five on the communitrons. We're good. And we want to, oops, activate you and target Kerbin. And we want to activate, activate you and target. Geo Alpha Mun 1. Perfect. We gotta bring you up. Okay, and now where are we in our launch? You are still very far away from your your course. You're fine. We got time. Okay. We, yeah, uh, we got time. We got plenty of time on that. Yeah, I gotta get that burn to get us into orbit again. Okay. There it is. See, that's your good marker right there. You see how how that's on that dot right there? That's going to tell us that we're probably going to go very equatored with this, which is good. So that'll move over to the node. Come on, we got 45, 47 it's got to get to. So we got a little under a minute to make it onto that node. And we're not getting any faster either. Okay. Yeah, we'll make it there. We get the time. Come on. It's just slowly turning, you see. It doesn't want to overdo it, because if it overdoes it, then it's not going to be able to slow down, right? Okay, we're getting down to the last couple seconds. We might need to give ourselves a shot of, uh, of power a couple seconds beforehand, just so that we have that additional thrust to try and move us, but we have 13 seconds. Still could make it close enough. Come on, you're off by just a couple degrees. I'm gonna have to full throttle you here soon. Getting close. There it is. Get on that node. There it is. Just as we started the burn. Just enough to push it over, I think. Should be enough to do it. Yeah, 
and then we get ourselves on pretty much the same apple apps again with that burn and we get ourselves basically tagging along be behind this guy for the entire ride is basically what he's gonna do he's gonna probably be like an hour behind and then we just get them into their orbits and um, once they're orbiting the MUN then we can uh, adjust them so once all three are up and at the MUN then we can adjust their orbits then We'll get this burn off. And if we can get this burn going, hopefully we can get the third one launched and have it come up right, in, right up behind it. <laughs> this is going to be a choo-choo train of rockets on their way to the moon. Let's do this. Okay, let's go back and check our fuel. Fuel's looking great. Raw mark. Remember the whole purpose of this burn. <clears throat> it's it's to it looks like we're trying to get ourselves we're trying to get ourselves into an orbital place, but then we only need to get into the orbital place so that we can then position ourselves in a better spot to then uh, clear off of the uh, um, clear off of the 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 curb and then head off towards the moon. There it is. We're off by one second on that burn. If you notice, we got to plus one at 45, so we were one second off of that burn. Power still seems to be holding out good. The panels are, are collecting and gathering. That's good. And again, we're probably just going to end up with just enough fuel because this time we didn't have to do probably a little bit more fuel because this time we didn't have to do the same type of correction that we had to do last time so <clears throat> excuse me we'll probably end up with a wee bit more fuel at the end of it when we detach that stage so the the wonderful part about it is is that we detach this stage here and then as the other half of the rocket goes to get itself positioned around Mun, um, this part will just jettison itself off into space somewhere. Okay, we're getting down there. Yeah, see we're off. It'll be 46, plus 46 when we stop this. Right? And remember, we're not going for a perfect uh, burn here. We don't need to be dead on with it. So when we get about 15 meters, I'm probably going to cut it. And there it is. We've now in orbit. That was at 20. Wow, I overshot that a bit. So these things need a good 25, 26 to get it. Okay, then we extend this out again. It's two million off. We don't want that. That's not bad. Hundred thousand. Oh, 
1.7 million. some on thousand no 800 there you go 120,000 so if you look his orbit is a bit a bit off but we're gonna get there see in five hours That's 1.2. Yeah, actually. There we go. That's 1.84. That almost gets us to the point where we need to make our burn. Look at that, we're already on our maneuver. So that would actually get us to the orbit we want, I think, around the month for that one. Yeah. So that's actually not that bad. That needs to be at 21 seconds, and we can probably do that burn. Yeah, we got good enough fuel there. Let's uh, time warp that a bit. Okay, getting down there under a minute. Okay, we're already on the mark. And we'll do this at 23. There it is. And the burn is off. He's gonna get there before us. Actually, it doesn't look like, I think we're gonna have to cut the stage. I don't think that's enough fuel to burn 400 meters. There was a significant uh, speed difference in this one because of the angle, right? Because the moon's still moving as we're going, right? Yeah. And we're off. So now I don't need to stay in there anymore. We can bring that up. We get a little more granular control with this Titan. I do like the Titan engine. It's a good engine. Let's just bring her out. Bring her out, baby. Bring her down. Fine granular control. Boom. That yeah, a little over. That's fine. That's fine. You know what? That one's on the move. Okay. And we add a maneuver. 
we bring that in. Boom. Look at that. 60. 70. Oh, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful maneuver. Get yourself on tap for that. Four and a half hours. Okay, that gets you there in four and a half hours. Let's see, am I close enough to switch? Let's go back to map view. Nope. You're there four and a half, and where are you gonna be there in? You're, gonna, <laughs> you're not going to be there for another. You're not going to be there for another five hours. So essentially what you're telling me is that the second satellite is going to beat you there because he's going at a faster speed than you are. And again, we have the issue with the panels, which I noted during our um, brainstorm on, on the uh, Twitter, is that these panels do not properly um, adjust themselves to the sun. Watch. That panel should rotate and face the sun that way. But it doesn't. see it should but it doesn't reception yeah but I don't know like Beam power, solar only. This is status direct sun, sun exposure is that, but I'm still losing power. Why? That has sun exposure. That has sun exposure. But yet I'm still losing power. What happens if you face towards your maneuver? Should put you a little more directly facing the sun, right? Look at that. There we go. That's better. Two point oh. It's an exposure. There we go. Now at least we're gaining power now. That's important. These things have to maintain the ability to gain power during this entire procedure. Because if they get there without power, then we're boned. And we don't want to be boned without power. Right? Okay. So, it looks like, right now, the second satellite is going to get there before the first one, because that has just under five hours, and that has four and a half hours. So they'll be there a half hour beforehand, and then we get the third satellite to launch. So, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we're just going to keep on doing this. So we're going to record the next episode right after this, and we're going to get the third satellite launched. And then uh, we'll do the fourth episode, and we will have uh, 
we will have all three satellites hopefully come in and we will um, time warp them and get them all in orbit and see how it turns out so stay with us we're flying safe we're gonna do this the right way we're gonna get these three satellites going so thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed hit that like if you liked what you saw hit that subscribe if you want to stay up to date and any comments suggestions uh, that you have would be greatly appreciated until next time thank you all for watching and we'll see you then take care fly safe